Live from South Lake Union in Seattle, it's Bing TV, hosted by MJ De Palma. Hi there, everyone. My name is MJ De Palma, and I am one of your hosts today on Bing TV. And hello, I'm Frances Donegan Ryan, and I am MJ's co host this morning. It's wonderful to have you, Frances. Thanks, MJ. Awesome. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about Cortana and how it relates to search and a cool announcement that I'm sure you've heard of already, but maybe <laughs> not. So we're going to cover that. And then we're going to talk about holiday tips, a holiday resource hub, and the Bing Agency Awards. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Cortana. So Cortana is a very cool, intelligent, personal assistant mm -hmm. by Microsoft. And I really love the origin that I've understood where Cortana has come from. Why don't you tell us about that, Francis? So as an Xbox user, mm -hmm. uh, Cortana comes from the video game Halo, which is probably the most popular Xbox game. And Cortana is your AI digital assistant when you play Halo. And you can't win the game without her support. You can't. Um, find all the things you need to find without her help. Nope. So she started as your companion <laughs> mm -hmm. and your helper on Halo, and now she's all over the place, not just within Halo. So you can't win at Halo, and you can't win at life yes. without Cortana. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were to do a search for your uh, Phuket Thailand vacation, mm -hmm. Cortana search for Phuket Thailand vacation. This is an example of the search engine results page that you could see. Yeah. So it's actually connected. And how many Cortana users are there? So we there are 145 million Cortana users, and with those 145 million users, have done over 18 billion searches. That's pretty cool. On Cortana, yeah. yeah. So million with a B, billion. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so right now, I've been working out a lot. I'm a little carb deprived, and mm -hmm. I have carb on my mind. So yep. I was doing like some searches on Cortana, some voice searches. So I did Cortana search for rice cookers for sale. <laughs> even, <laughs> even though I don't really eat a lot of rice, but I was fantasizing about <laughs> rice. And so here's an example of how another search engine results page could pop up yeah. after doing a voice search, and you see here a carousel. Why don't you tell us a little about that? So, yeah, so right now we haven't um, monetized voice search. It's something we're researching and strategizing about, and there's a whole secret team working on it. But even when you use voice search um, and allow it to open uh, a SERP, then what we're seeing right here are paid product ads. Um, so if you're mm -hmm. a, a retailer and you're selling your product ads, you will be able to sell things via voice search. Yeah. The other really cool thing I'm going to just mention about product ads on Bing versus other search engines um, is that you can, if you sell a subscription yeah. service, you can use product ads. So That's for really example, cool. Netflix, mm -hmm. um, a big, obviously big customer of mm -hmm. ours, uses product ads to sell subscription, yeah. but if you're selling you know, audiobooks, if yeah. you're selling um, gym memberships, if you're selling food uh, delivery, all of those types of things that sell mm -hmm. uh, via monthly subscription, you can use product ads. That's pretty ingenious. Mm -hmm. I love that. So also, uh, hey Cortana, open Alexa. Why, yes. did, why don't you talk to us a little bit about this awesome announcement between Microsoft and Amazon? So this is a cool new friendship between us, and um, we're, we're right beside each other here mm -hmm. in Seattle, our offices are. So you can use it both ways. So you can ask Alexa to open Cortana, um, mm -hmm. and you can ask Cortana to open Alexa. And you know examples of how you use that, if I'm home and I forgot to send MJ the information she needed for a project, I can mm -hmm. say, Alexa, open Cortana, send MJ an email, uh, with a, <laughs> sorry, MJ, gonna get that to you later. Um, you know, until I have time to sit down and get to my laptop. Yeah. And same, if I'm working on my laptop and I remember that, you know, I'm out of toilet paper, I can say, hey, Cortana, open Alexa, order me this. And mm -hmm. it just allows you to continue doing what you're doing and not have to leave activities or leave other programs to go into Alexa or right. um, that's awesome to stay. So away this from isn't your available yet. It's coming. Yeah. So right. we announced it two weeks ago now, I mm -hmm. think, or three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And um, so stay tuned for a live date for that. So it, friendship's a beautiful thing. Yes. And when this actually happens, you know, I, I just I always 
envision being able to like call up Alexa's friend or yes. Cortana's friend <laughs> and be more productive, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I also did a search, Cortana, search for high heel shoes on sale, thinking I'm co-hosting with Frances yeah. and I wanted to do something a little bit relevant to her. <laughs> and then I which realized- high heels. Yeah, it's high heels, but I also also realized that you probably wouldn't wear, use the word high heels, so. No, I would say stilettos <laughs> or platforms <laughs> or a brand name. But what's cool about this search engine results page example is that the product ads are actually on the right rail. Yeah. So here at Bing Ads, we're always testing different formats to see what works for our searchers, what they enjoy, and also what works for advertisers. So it's a it's, yeah. a, it's a give take and make sure that what we're providing our users is a great experience. Yeah. So I just wanted to give that example. Now, I did a little research. How do you train Cortana? Because I wanted to understand what was available out there. And I already did the work for you <laughs> and found the best training video. So if you want to learn how to train your Cortana, um, Stein's going to drop a link, Learn Cortana. It's aka.ms slash Learn Cortana. And it's about an eight minute video mm. on learning on LinkedIn. And they do a fantastic job at understanding what Cortana can do and how you can actually train it. So yeah. give it a whirl. It's what makes it more personal to you mm -hmm. and what your priorities are, what you need to get done. It's like training a dragon, right? Training a dragon, <laughs> um, training, I mean, a dog, which isn't as cool as a dragon. Right. Um, I suppose if you have a kid, potty training the child. <laughs> um, no, but training Cortana will become something that just builds on itself. Yeah. So you want to start doing that and let it learn like your voice and the things that you like to do mm -hmm. and the more you use it the smarter it gets so yeah or she gets yes <laughs> the smarter she gets yes um so let's go into the next segment of the show every week we do the bing ads brief and so this week we're going to get into some holiday tips that you can use mm -hmm. uh coming up to plan the holiday season if you haven't already considered some of these <laughs> tips francis is going to really get into that with us yeah and also share with you the holiday hub um, and where you can get more resources, and then we'll round it out with the Bing Agency Awards and who the winners were. Yeah. All right, so did you know that the Bing Network audience spends more online than the average internet searcher? And when you look at the buying power index for mm -hmm. Bing, um, we have data that shows last year's buying power index for November and December. Why don't you talk to us a little yeah. bit about that? So this, uh, so these numbers are basically telling you how much more a Bing searcher uh, is spending versus the average internet searcher and user. Mm -hmm. um, these numbers obviously are the from last year. The propensity to buy. Yeah, the propensity to buy and the price point as oh, well. Okay, cool. Um, so it's, I think this incredible incredibly valuable to know. Obviously, these are last year's numbers, and these numbers aren't our numbers. This comes from Comscore, yeah. but um, if you're selling any sort of uh, luxury goods, if you would like to sell something at a slightly higher price point, um, Bing is a great way to do that, great way to take advantage of the way that right. our um, users behave. Or if you're not running on Bing, you should be. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Make that money. <laughs> So let's talk about early November. Yeah. Let's let's, let's talk. 66% of shoppers research products at a price point of less than $50. So again, this is then taking advantage of if you have a competitive a competitive price point, you know, compared to other stores or competitors. Mm -hmm. If um, if you have, for example, turned on campaigns that are a very high price point in early November, you could be kind of wasting budget when you're going to get a higher conversion rate if you're, you know, working on campaigns, if you have products that are, mm -hmm. you know, within, you know, less than $50, of course. And I would imagine most of you have already set up your holiday campaigns, um, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps a month Hopefully. or even two, three months ago. Yeah. Um, but this data is going to help you optimize those campaigns, not just set up campaigns as well. Yeah, and it's a good way to, like, capture the, the searches and then perhaps when they land on your site <coughs> suggesting, hey, don't forget, we also have the $300 price point yeah. when you're starting to look for that 
you know, special yeah. something for your spouse. Reel them in yeah. <laughs> with this data um, and then uh, do the upsell on your, <laughs> on your landing page. I was in retail a long time ago, actually selling on the floor of a retail store. Mm -hmm. We used to call that the lost leader. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so, question. Yes. What reasons would get people to shop digitally mm -hmm. at the Thanksgiving table? Hmm. Um, so, if if you're gonna try and capture attention out of the, the dinner while you're still sitting at Not the at table. Not at your dinner table, because I know your family wouldn't allow that. Oh yeah, my brother <laughs> snuck out of the house once to go to to go to go Walmart and buy a TV, and he like swore us to secrecy. My mom just thought he was like upstairs. Um, so, so that would speak to this point, <laughs> Yeah, right? so amazing, amazing deal. deal. Uh -huh. Um, so, you know, use this language. Again, make sure you're optimizing campaigns where you can offer this. Mm -hmm. You know, use your bid modif modifiers, use targeting mm -hmm. uh, to be able to sell this amazing deal. And you yeah. can get super creative with that ad copy too. Yeah. And I would prove it to people. Yeah. So also to ensure I get the gift I want and I put in for someone, because that's what that really means. Yeah. 26% would do that from yeah. the Thanksgiving table. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> that's where the urgency yep. comes from and kind of that FOMO um, type of ad copy um, because, you, you know, countdown to Christmas or to Hanukkah really starts then. Yeah. Uh, and so you want to make sure you grab mm -hmm. the gift, grab the presents uh, that you've already thought of in your head. Yep. Um, the other thing to think about is if, you know, what's a product or what's a purchase um, that would come up at the dinner table? Because, you know, through it's, that brainstorming, yeah. through those chats, you're like, oh, okay, let me pull out my Oh, phone. I didn't know about that. that. I want to yeah. buy that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, word of mouth, I always take friend recommendations. So 18% say they would buy something discussed at the table. Yeah. All right. So moving on to Black Friday. Talk to us about these numbers, Francis. Okay, so 75%. 73. 73%. I can't, I don't know numbers. 73% <laughs> um, are going to do their research online before they head to a store. Right. Um, so this is still a huge volume of searches. And, you know, we often talk about search being the end kind of part of your con, um, the consumer buying journey. Um, That's not the case all the time. No. And so you want to make sure that you're providing information and you want to make sure that you're using extensions like location extension. There are also some really cool mm -hmm. other extensions you can use like we have this online but we also have it in the store and here are the directions yep. to the store. Here's the phone uh, number to the store, call extension so you know you can reserve it before you can get in. I didn't prep Stein for this link so it's going to take him a while to find it but Stein when you get a chance drop <laughs> the link to the Art of Advertiser Science webcast about the Bing Ads extensions that's coming up. Yeah. And it'll be all about Bing Ads extensions and we have some customer guest speakers that give some tips on this. So it'll yeah. be a fantastic fit for you guys for the holidays. So yeah. take a look at that. Yeah. So ensuring keyword coverage, a uh, black tip, keyword tip, a Black Friday. <laughs> what did I just say? Black Friday keyword tip, Francis. <laughs> Tell us about that. Um, <laughs> So there are a few things that you can do um, to really enhance these Black Friday sales. One of them in particular is using uh, trademark and brand names, mm -hmm. um, particularly because that is the recognition if you've been yeah. running you know, radio or TV or print ads. Yeah. Um, and, and for the holidays, people tend to want to buy the exact product or the original product maybe versus you know, a secondary brand product, right. which you might do at another time of the year because you really want to get that savings. But at the holiday period, you really want to get, you know, the exact right product right. or the highest, uh, the more prestigious and brand. You don't want somebody searching on your brand and a competitor capturing yeah. that. You definitely want to own your brand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so another tip for around the actual all of the holiday season yeah. is ad extensions and a mobile tip so yeah. location extension and then also increasing 
your bids for uh, that area that you actually have a brick and mortar. Yeah. So if someone's, I know I do this all the time, and like, oh, I didn't find it here. I do another search. Yeah. And, I... and you don't want to drive all the way across town mm -hmm. then. Nope. So again, it's really being smart and taking advantage of those bid modifiers. And Bing has a lot of demographics um, modifiers that you can do, um, gender, age, location, etc. Yep. All right, here's a big one. Yes. Use both text ads and Bing shopping campaign together. Yeah. And this is sort of similar to your brand uh, campaigns as well. You want to own the page, yeah. right? And you don't want your competitors taking advantage of the fact that you've spent money and you've optimized for your shopping campaigns mm -hmm. and you have you know, your products in that carousel, but the next ad down is your competitor because they've gone to yeah. kind of cannibalize that text yeah. ad as well. And you know, particularly in the holiday season, mm -hmm. you really want to own those two spots. Maybe other times of the year you have different priorities, but the holiday season, that should be your priority is owning that space on the page. Here's just an idea. If your priority is to have a higher return on ad spend, I don't care <laughs> if it's a holiday or not. Our data is showing if you run them together, is a 22% increase in ROAS, 76% yeah. increase in uh, conversion rate, and 71% in click-through rate. So it sort of speaks for, the data speaks for itself. Yeah. So it's a good idea to run them simultaneously. Now, one of our favorite ad extensions yeah. that just became available is the Countdown Customizer. Um, so as you can see here on the screen right next to us, um, it really provides a sense of urgency. So yep. if you have a sale that's going on, you definitely want to take advantage of that. So um, you can use the Countdown Customizer for your expanded text ads to, to create that type of urgency for time-sensitive events. Yeah, and that, that modifier is brilliant for, for Black Friday, for Cyber Monday, yep. for Small Business Saturday. Um, Christmas Eve or the day before Hanukkah, yeah. um, where you're like, oh my God, <laughs> get this immediately. Um, and it, it yeah, like you said, creates that urgency and kind of uh, answers that FOMO question. Like you don't yeah. want to miss out on this deal. And let's be honest, it's helpful. So I would be really upset if I didn't know a yeah. sale was going to end at a certain period and I go to buy it and I just miss it. I would be really bummed. Yeah. So it's, it's just being also helpful. Yes. Yeah. So Stein's going to drop a link on a blog post about the uh, Countdown Customizer, which is aka.ms slash Bing Ads Countdown blog. <laughs> And I'm saying that uh, so that those that are actually uh, reading closed caption can actually see that. And and how to, countdown customer how to link, it's aka.ms slash Bing Ads Countdown. Um, and that'll help you get started with how to implement it. Yeah. So I have a question. <laughs> Quiz question. Quiz question. Who was shopped for 70% of the time this past holiday season? Do you have a guess? I have a guess. Okay, I mean, everyone, I guess. everyone at home, think about it in your head. What comes to mind? I have to say it would be mom. I, I, I mean, for me, it would be mom. So Yeah, no, there's someone all of us love more than mom. <laughs> <laughs> and Francis, tell us, tell, tell us what that and is. And that's me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so 70% um, of gifts that were bought at shoppers um, were buying presents for themselves. Um, it's all about treat yourself. <laughs> um, and uh, I I know that I do that. My sister absolutely does that. I she, do it. she buys her own self. She still wraps it and puts it under the tree. <laughs> and then um, and she's like, this is from me to me. Um, so <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the holiday season is about spoiling that's, your that's family hilarious. and friends, but it's also about spoiling yourself. Yep. Yeah. So in your ad copy, you might want to say treat yourself. Yeah. And, and that'll help, like, connect that impulse yeah now, honestly like I don't shop for myself as much um, during the year and then when I get in that shopping mode I'm yeah like, oh I really want that <laughs> and I think also you know online and brick and mortar stores you know they decorate everything mm -hmm. and you're listening to Christmas carols or <laughs> um, or other like holiday music yeah. and everyone's just happy and excited yeah. and you're like oh look at this deal <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one for me yep. this one for me this one for my sister, this one for yeah. me. So, um, you know, it's 
it's an awesome time to take advantage of that and use your ad copy, use your mm -hmm. landing page copy to snag those shoppers. And I, I hosted Thanksgiving last year and I was just thinking about, it was so fun, but it was a lot of work. And so <laughs> maybe for those that are in the service industry, like the spa industry or pamper yourself industry or, you know, those businesses out there that that resonates with, you might want to think about yeah. connecting with, with that kind of, you know, challenge or pain point and really help people think about treating themselves to, yep. to, a, to, a, to a spa day or a massage or, or whatnot. So, yep. Yeah. Um, I wanted to call out that there's a new trending query tip. Mm -hmm. Use dynamic search ads to match to long tail evolving searches. So we have some data that shows that 70% mm -hmm. of clicks, impressions, and conversions uh, from dynamic search ad campaigns are from net new queries. Yeah. So just think about sometimes you just can't get ahead of all the trends and the cultural uh, pop stuff that starts to become popular. Yeah. And this is a great way to capture that. Yeah. And so definitely if you haven't launched a uh, DSA campaign yet, get on it. Um, and this is available in the US and UK now, runs on yeah. PC, tablet, uh, the Bing owned and operated inventory as well as the Bing network inventory. So that, yeah. that's my big plug for DSA because I think it's just a fantastic opportunity for our advertisers. Yeah, and you know, like MJ mentioned, you know, every year there's kind of the top doll or the top product or the top game or Something the top that TV. Something that you don't know. Yeah, right? you're mm -hmm. not going to know what that is in August when you built your campaigns. So yeah. um, if you have dynamic search ads on, you can still take advantage of that traffic. As long as your ad or your product or your service is relevant, it'll yeah. just do that work for you. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. So Stein, would you mind dropping a link for dynamic search ads? It's aka.ms slash DSA help and you can take a look at how to get started with that. Mm -hmm. So now we're into the post-holiday season and talking about some insights and some data and some tips for the post-holiday season. So two out of three plan to shop after Christmas, so that's yep. quite a lot. So I think there are a couple things here. One, you know, if someone buys you a lovely pair of shoes mm -hmm. um, and they don't quite fit, you're going <laughs> to need to exchange them, right? Or perhaps, you know, your aunt bought you something because she still thinks you're 12 and you're like, ooh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and return this. Um, and we also know that gift cards are one of the mm -hmm. highest purchased um, gifts for people, you know, for that they're getting at the holiday season. So now they need to go and spend them. Yeah. And if, if it's a... It's a hectic time as well, post holidays, mm -hmm. you know, post Hanukkah, post Christmas. So if you don't make it easy for people, right. it's going to frustrate them and they will remember that for the rest of the year and particularly for holiday season yeah. the next year. So, you know, use ad copy about hassle free, about, you know, online returns or printing a label to yeah. be able to just send things back mm -hmm. um, because that will help you. Um, and there's, there's also a lot of sales post Christmas. So this is where a lot of the buying for yourself comes in as well. <laughs> so, you know, you may have seen the coat that you really want to buy, but you know, you know, you know, starting from the 26th on, yeah. you can probably get, you know, 15% off or 40% right. off and you're going to wait. Because we're mostly not like Margaret that would want to wrap the present for themselves. And put it under the tree. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I would be happy to wait to get Although that Although I love you, Margaret. <laughs> so also encourage then shoppers to redeem their gift certificates yeah. in your ad copy after the holidays. And another thing to consider is if you can deploy the technology that says um, how to tell how much you have yes. the, the balance on that gift certificate. A lot of retailers are doing that now, so you would link to uh, the ability to put in the gift certificate number and you can see um, how much that is because you may get a lot of gift certificates and let's be honest, not all of us put the amount on the back, so yeah. you don't want to just, so that we makes don't know it how really much hard. we're going to buy, you know, yeah. and maybe if you want that $200 thing and you have a $300 gift certificate, <laughs> that's a big gift certificate. Maybe I is want that what you're getting me? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. For the holiday seasons, we, we put together a resource hub called the Holiday Hub. And so Sign's gonna drop the link. It's aka.ms Holiday Hub. And what you'll find on there is a link to view the Bing in the Holidays webcast, yeah. six strategies to win the season. Um, so take a look at that. 
But also, we have a couple different um, guides that you can download yeah. to plan your holiday season. So at this point, download it. Yeah. Make sure that you know, you're know you doing all of it already. And if you're missing a couple of things, um, get on it and try them out. Yeah. Because you still have time. You know, the, yeah. the holiday season buying has definitely started. But you see a peak in September when people are like, oh, I'm going to get ahead of it this year. And That's then you never see, me. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> so many presents on Christmas Eve um, is my style. Um, but then it does dip in October. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to pick up again in November. So you have, what, two and a bit weeks? Yeah, three About weeks. Three weeks. Um, yeah. So, you know, you're not too late. Yeah, so, so don't think that it's it. not worth doing. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we're on to the Bing Agency Awards. Yes. and. Um, I'm so excited to have Frances uh, co-hosting because she actually was at the Bing Agency Awards. Yeah. And we just pulled up a picture of the actual venue. Tell us a little bit about the excitement and the energy. Yeah, so we had um, about 450 people there. So wow. big room. Yeah. It's black tie, so everyone is dressed to the nines. Um, so you get this very cool vibe. It was, it, we decorated with a lot of gold and a lot of art deco and Fun fact, the ballroom where we were sitting um, has the highest uh, ceilings in all buildings in Manhattan. Wow. Um, obviously, yeah. you could... Space is prime in yeah. Manhattan, so that's <laughs> saying something. Exactly. <laughs> um, and as you can see from the photo that's up, uh, Trevor Noah was our, um, our MC, was our host, and he was hilarious. That's awesome. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. and a uh, quick shout for Trevor Noah is to get his book, Born a Crime. It is really, really good. Awesome. Um, and we just had a <laughs> super fun, fun night. Um, there was also an after party upstairs with a lot of dancing. Nice. Um, and um, just everyone was in such a fun and happy mood. And, you know, really want to say congratulations to mm -hmm. all of our customers who were nominated, mm -hmm. all of them who were shortlisted, um, and then, of course, all of them who won. Yes. And I would say I have two awards that are sort of my favorites. So the first one is the Trailblazer Award. Um, Spark uh, founded, Spark, uh, found. yeah, Spark Foundy. Foundry. Found, found, oh my gosh. I'll say it you for say you. It. It's the Spark Foundry. There we go. <laughs> um, they're um, super exciting uh, agency. If you live in Florida, definitely check them out. Um, obviously, they do work all over the states. Um, but uh, they're female owned and operated and um, they're just racing through yep. to become kind of one of the next uh, the next big agencies. And you can see Colette Trudeau is yeah. accepting the award. Yeah. I mean, I can't ima I, I didn't get I didn't get a chance to go, but it looks like a star studded event. Oh and yeah. And as it should be because we work hard. This those in the, this industry, us yeah. that are in this industry, we have to admit it. It's it's a hard industry. We work really hard. You guys work really hard. Yeah. And so it brings us great pleasure to be able to reward honor that. Yeah. and reward and recognize you guys that are um, just doing such a great job. Yeah. And so the other um, the other award, real yep. quick, is um, our award um, for uh, flamp. Oh my gosh, say it. It's uh, Philanthropist of the Year. There we or go. Philanthropist Agency of the Year. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this year, uh, Seer. Um, Seer Interactive. There we go. Uh, in Philadelphia. I'll be Francis's yeah. interpreter for just Exactly, a exactly. So Seer Interactive <laughs> in Philly won the award this year. Mm -hmm. And when I was interviewing them, you know, I asked what was the big project they did. And they said it wasn't even a big project, it is just part of their DNA of an agency. So it's not like they kind of throw one big thing. Mm -hmm. It's every day. It's what they think about. It's part of their values. And mm -hmm. working at Microsoft, where we have the same things, it was really lovely to be able to award them for that. The other super cool thing that we had, um, we did this uh, so sort of a jazz um, theme. We had a jazz band there. Uh, but we um, ha had an artist create this mural. Um, so it's a saxophone player, yep. and um, but when you, it was an AR augmented reality, yeah, and a silent auction on this piece, right? Yeah. So yeah. when you held up your phone or a tablet, uh, it came alive. 
Um, you so, saw you saw like music notes coming out. Yeah, and everything. The whole background around. changed. Yep. Um, it started moving like these circles started moving. Um, so super interesting interactive art and uh, the artist uh, who was there. You know, he's leading in that area, but you're seeing it more and more and more. And I want to put a shout out to Jeff Cologne, who actually led this entire project and created this piece of art uh, yeah. in partnership with the artist. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the name of the artist, uh, but who was the winner? Reprise Media. Yeah. And all of the proceeds from the silent auction went to hurricane relief. Yep, American um, rent costs. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, we are really proud to be able to do that as well. Awesome. And now we're just, we're, you know, we can't call out everyone. Uh, we're, we're running out of time, but here are the list of all of the winners um, for mm -hmm. uh, the awards that we gave out. Yep. And so, you know, we do partner awards in the spring and we do agency awards in the fall. So keep that in mind That's and fantastic. definitely apply next year. Yeah, apply to the Bing Partner Program next year when it actually has a, uh, an, uh, I guess it's a, an open season where you can yeah. actually apply. It just ended end of September, but if you haven't gotten part of that yet, look for the next uh, opening to apply to be in the Bing Partner Program yeah. and get get involved in this. It's it's an amazing community. Yeah, here there's lots of benefits yeah. that we want to be able to share. So up next week, I'm going to hand the mic over to Francis, who will host Bing TV. Francis, what are you talking about next week? So next week, we're going to chat about Bing bots, which is one of my passion uh, topics. And um, and just everything that, you know, I think kind of this time last year it was mm -hmm. all, ooh, bots are coming, experiment with it, and now they're live, and okay. they're going to be on uh, cert uh, result pages. So um, I'm going to yep. talk to you about that and how to build your own bot. And then, of course, we'll hit up ad extensions um, again because extensions, extensions, ex extensions. <laughs> um, they're super important. And um, like MJ said, there's a webcast that's also um, on its way uh, for extensions. So yes. I'm just, we're just going to talk about it yep. there's forever so many. and ever. Yep. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. And there's a lot of new ones that have just released um, over the summer for Bing. So we just want to make sure you know everything that's available. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much, Francis. Of course. Thanks for joining us today. And see you next week with Francis Donegan Ryan. Bye,